Now, cuddling up in front of a nice log fire seems part of a bygone age. But it's coming back into fashion. Faced with rising fuel costs, more and more people are switching from gas central heating to good old-fashioned wood. Well, Marion Mashiri is at a firewood supplier in Herefordshire. Marion, is it uh, roaring business there? Did I just hear Simon offer to cuddle up with me in front of a fire? No. No, maybe not. I'm here in Her <laughs> I'm Simon, maybe later. I'm here in Herefordshire. It, uh, it's a wood processing plant called Certainly Wood. It's one of the biggest in the country. And the reason why I'm here is to show you exactly how wood is made for wood-burning stoves. Now, over the last year, according to the latest figures from one of the biggest wood-burning stove makers in the country, Stovax, the number of people demanding wood-burning stoves have risen by 50%. That's in 12 months alone. And demand for logs to burn in those stoves and, of course, in open fires has also risen quite significantly. Now, the main reason for this is, of course, those higher energy bills but also I suppose in many ways burning wood is a lifestyle choice. Now I'm joined by Nick Snell who is co-director of Certainly Wood. Nick, have you seen uh, business booming over the last year? Yeah, we've seen a, a significant increase uh, over the last 12 months and so yes, big demand. And why do you think more and more people are using uh, wood burning to heat their homes nowadays? I think it's a combination of factors really. One is uh, rising energy costs, um, the other is people looking to reduce CO2 emissions, and, of course, it's an element of a lifestyle thing, but people are really seeing an opportunity now to reduce their, reduce their energy costs. Now, one thing that can be said is that the cost of wood has risen, hasn't it, over the last 12 or so months because of demand rising? Yeah, we've seen a small increase in, in demand for or the cost of the raw material, and that's having a slight knock-on, but not a dramatic uh, increase in end, end uh, costs. OK, let's take a look at some of the wood behind us here. I mean, how much would... Uh, an average packet wood like this cost you? Yeah, this would uh, recommend a retail, and this is 4 99 And basically, this is for kiln dried wood, which is very dry, 20 25% moisture, giving very high energy heat output. So, how long, for example, would that last in one wood burning stove in your home? This would last about two nights. And how much has the wood increased in price since, let's say, a year ago? Only about a 10%, so a very small increase. And also, if we have a look behind us here, you have some even bigger. Uh, bits of wood here. I mean, how, how much would that cost you? People actually buy this? Yeah, this large uh, bag, which is approximately a cubic metre, for kiln-dried high quality, is £90 delivered locally. I mean, some people might say it's not environmentally friendly to start felling trees to then burn at home. Is it or isn't it? It is actually very environmentally friendly. You know, it's a sustainable, renewable resource, um, and actually it's very good to thin woodland because it helps improve the habitat. And also, in some ways, I suppose, people, more and more people using wood-burning stoves in their homes means your business is recession-proof. We hope so. Um, it certainly looks as though the demand is rising, and, and it's good for people to be using wood um, because it's such a renewable resource. OK, Nick Snell, thank you very much indeed. That's it from me here in Hereford. Just Simon, I have to say, you get a wood-burning stove sorted out in the studio, and I'll come and cosy up with you tomorrow. Yes, uh, another wooden performance, Marion. <laughs> thank, you very, thank you very much. <laughs> 15 all. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Weather. Sarah, get us out of this. Morning. Well, it has been a grey, damp start to the day for many.